Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're gonna help this noob with Awakened Magma Fruit reach max level. But before that, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Where the Echo Slam oh, there it is. forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, guys, level 1 to max. This will be long, so let's start. First off, for the bandits, you're gonna learn 5. Use your Z skill. 3 times, you're gonna defeat 1 set of bandits. Very easy. Goal here is to reach level. And that's it. Next island. So for our next island, we got the jungle. We're gonna start here with the monkeys. Lure 3, trap them in the water, go in high ground, use your Z skill to defeat them. Level 15, elemental logia effect. But you can start defeating the gorillas at level 15. And guys, high ground is your friend. There you go. At level 20, you can start defeating the gorilla king. You don't wanna get damaged, go in the high ground. Use your Z skill until you defeat him. Your goal level here is to reach level 35. Wait gamer on why level 35? Because in the pirate village, your first enemy, the pirates, elemental effect will activate at level 35. So grinding here again is easier with that. There you go. Defeat them until you reach level 45. Why 45 gamer nom? Because again, the brutes, logia or elemental effect will activate in that level. Okay guys, so what is our target level here? Level 55 and after that, Next is Buggy the Clown or Bobby in this game. Tip here, do server hop, defeat him thrice. You will reach level 60 or more. After that, next stop, the desert. So here we're gonna start with the desert bandits. At level 60, Logia is in effect. Grinding is really fast. This area is where you will unlock your second skill, the Magma Column. You're gonna leave the desert bandits at level 75. And after that, next target mob is the desert officers. You're gonna lure 4 or 3 at a time. There you go. Again, dog is in effect at 75, which means you won't get damage with their attacks. The goal here is level 90. Let's do some stat check. 50 melee, 30 defense, 190 blocks fruits. Next area is the frozen village. So here we're gonna buy something. The sky jump, the enhancement, and the soru. Now we're gonna grind the snow bandits. Guys, level 90, snow bandits, dog is in effect. So you're gonna lure 5 if you can and defeat them. There you go. The goal here is to reach level 105. And when you reach that level, you are now ready for the Yeti. There you go. It's easy to defeat. Just maintain your distance. Our target level before we leave this area is level 120. Next area is the Marine Fortress. Guys, we could have grinded there until 130, but I decided to defeat the Petty Officers for Mastery. Don't worry, Logia is in effect at 120, so lure 4, there you go. Defeat them for mastery again, for mastery until you reach level 130. Upon reaching that level, you can now start defeating the mini boss in this island, Vice Admiral, there you go. Again, easy to defeat. You're gonna unlock your third skill or your fourth skill here, sorry about that, the Magma Wolf. So now you have 3 skills to damage your enemy, which makes it easier for you to defeat this boss. At 220, next island is the prison. So we have 3 mini bosses here, the warden first. So just do the wall strat, there you go. He cannot damage you here. Goal here is to reach level 30. After that, you will unlock the quest with the chief warden. Same strategy, wall strat, until 240. At 240, you can now start defeating the swans. Guys, if you do server hop, you can defeat all 3 of them simultaneously so that you can grind faster. You're gonna leave this area at level 350. So as you can see, we've skipped lots of quests. So before we leave this area, stat check. Melee 125, defense 185, blast fruits 740. Next island is the Magma Village. So here we're gonna go straight with the Magma Admiral, but check this out. We've unlocked our last skill, the Magma Meteor. Oh, we missed it. <laughs> Guys, there is no wall strat here, so all we need to do is skills, dash. Use your skills, dash, to dodge his skills, wait for your skills to cool down, dash, and defeat him. The goal here is to reach level 425, and after that, moving on to the next island, the underwater city. Straight to the boss, Fishman Lord, guys. Wall strat again, lure him here, pick a window, no, it's not a wall strat, window strat. So there you go, he cannot damage you here, use your long range attacks, very easy. You're gonna leave this area at level 500, yes, 500. After that, moving on, Skylands, Upper Yard. 
Next boss is the Whisper. So here you're gonna do the Rock Strat. You're gonna go on top of the rock. There he cannot reach you. He cannot use his cannon to damage you. Very easy. Target level here is 575. After that, Thunder God. You're gonna server hop here. You're gonna level up 100 times. We're gonna dodge two mobs after this. The Galley Pirates and the Galley Captains. So at 675, Fountain City. The boss here is Cyborg. Check this area guys. Here guys, memorize this area. He cannot hit you here. It's a free hit. Check it out. Dodge. So, memorize this area. Keep on attacking him. Defeat him until you reach level 700. Okay, so now we can now go to the second C. But wait guys, we're gonna awaken our Magma Fruit. Again, our friends are gonna help us. There you go. And after awakening your Magma Fruit, you're gonna go back to the first C and keep on defeating Cyborg until you reach level 750. When you reach level 750, we will now go back to the second C, head to the middle town, experience captain, and we're gonna start our new journey in the second C. First up, the mercenaries. You need to defeat eight guys. I'm gonna show you how powerful the Awakened Magma is. Just lower three. Okay, use your Z and V skill. And that's it guys. Target level is 793. After that, we will now move on to our next area. Here we go. We're gonna start defeating the Swan Pirates. Logia Elemental Effect. No problem luring. Also, no problem with the damage. Guys, we're using Magma Awaken. For the stats, melee defense 500, blocks fruits 1550. Next stop is Jeremy. We're gonna server hop here until level 900. Next up, the green zone. Here we're gonna defeat marine captains, only 25 levels. This is how you lure them. Just a reminder, always use your observation hockey to avoid their attacks. Just a reminder, you need to defeat 9. So lure 5 in the first set and 4 on the second set. Next up guys, Fujitora or Fajita. Just create distance. You guys, you have a choice here. You can level up with the zombies at level 1000. I'm gonna show it to you. I agree that zombies are easier to defeat, but Fujitora gives up more experience. So I suggest stay with Fujitora, do server hop until you reach level 1028. Next up, we are going to head to the snow mountains and start defeating the snow troopers. Elemental or Logia is in effect, so there will be no problems luring. So we'll just lure 4, do it 2 times to finish a quest. One thousand one hundred. Next area is the hot and cold. We're gonna start with the lab subordinates, guys. I'm going to give you a choice: either you level up here or stay with the snow troopers because mobs here spawn slower and they're harder to defeat. But don't worry, guys. When you reach level thousand one hundred fifty, now is the time to defeat the smoke admiral, guys. He's located here. By the way, this is my favorite boss in this scene. He's so easy to defeat. And he gives out lots and lots of experience. So make sure to server hop with this boss. Target level 1250. Stat check. Melee 600, defense 855, blast fruits full. Next area is the cursed ship. We're gonna start here with the ship deck hands. You need to defeat 8. Miss out to lure them. Lure 2, lure 2, and burst. Okay? Very easy. Target level here is 1,300. After that, next mob, the ship stewards. So they're located here. I'm gonna show you how to lure them. Lure one, two, three, and four. There you go, burst them. Very easy. Target level here is 1,350. By the way, this is the area where you can unlock the gold race. For those who want to unlock it, this is the place to be. 1350 we're gonna leave this area and to head to the ice castle first target enemy the arctic warriors guys just lure four and burst them this area is where you can find the library key and the hidden key those keys are requirements to unlock the death step and the sword ring goku at 1400 you can now start defeating the ice admiral so it's located here we're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 1475. Just two Z and V skill is enough to defeat this boss. I'm gonna show it to you. 
that's, that's just one combo. See that? More than half HP. Already damage. Go. Next island, the Forgotten Island. Final mob here is the Tide Keeper. Only 25 levels left before we reach third C. My tip, just stay in this rock and he will not summon his CDs. Check the damage. There you go. Again, plus 25 levels and we are heading to the third C. Go. Don't forget to do the Coliseum quest. Talk to King Redhead. Damage Indra until half HP. Go to the green zone and talk to the Mr. Captain. And that's it guys, third C. We're gonna start it off with the Pirate Millionaires. Guys, I'm gonna show you something. In luring these mobs, you should not hit them. Don't damage them, just go near them. Okay, if you don't do that, guys, check this out. Unlimited range attacks, which is not good, right? Okay, so once you lure them, Use your skills, Z and V skill, and that's it. Next up, at 1,520, Pistol Billionaires. You need to defeat 8. Again, lure 4. There you go. Burst. A very easy grinding, guys. At 1,550, you can start defeating the mini boss in this island, the Stone. So he's located here. Guys, listen. Stone gives out lots and lots of experience compared to the first two mobs in the Hydra Island. So we're gonna stay here. We're gonna server hop till you reach level 1675. Yes, guys, you heard it correctly. That's a lot of levels. Stat check 978 melee, defense is 1600, blast roots max. Again, at 1675, we are moving to our next island, the Hydra Island. Don't forget to do the training dummy every, I think it's like one or two hours. There you go. Guys, for magma fruit, this is very easy. I'm gonna show it to you. Just use your first skill or maybe your third skill. Guys, that's it. Back to grinding our target is the island empress server hop again. The easiest way to defeat her is to lure her here and there you go. Wall strategy, okay? Wall strat, very easy. Just make sure to always turn on your observation hockey. The only problem here is the bounty hunters, guys. I was killed lots and lots of times here, so just be patient. 1,750, you can now move on to your next island, the Great Tree. We're gonna skip the two mobs here. Next boss is the Kilo Admiral. Guys, his weakness, just go up in the air. He cannot hit you with his skills, which make this grinding a lot easier. Again, beware of bounty hunters. Guys, a tip, if someone attacks you and you've already damaged it, just run away. You will still get experience. Even that the enemy that hit you defeats Kilo Admiral. 1875, next island, Floating Turtle. Guys, here, Captain Elephant is our target. Again, same strategy with the Kilo Admiral, just go high up in the air, I think. And jumps, or just use your F skill, everything will be fine. Good thing we're near max level. Sad thing guys is this is the last time that we're gonna do server hop. Next up, we're gonna do grinding with the quests. So at 1,900 jungle pirates, just lure four here. One, two, three, and four. After that, you know what to do guys. I don't wanna say it, the Z and V skill. <laughs> okay, there you go. So just 25 levels, and after that, next target is Musketeer Pirates. So we need to defeat 8. Just lure 4. 1 here. 2. 3. And 4 on top. Use your C skill. There you go. And burst them again. You're gonna leave this area when you reach level 1975. Almost there guys. Alright. So next island is the Hunted Castle. Guys, is this the area where you can get bones? Reborn Skeleton is our target. Again, you can spin bones here where you can get the Hollow and the Fire Essence. You can also get 2 times experience here. There you go. With the strategy, just lure 4. Again, burst them to death. Guys, it's your choice if you want to defeat the other mobs here, the living zombies, but they're almost the same. 2.5 million experience difference. Again, basically, they're the same. Okay? How about the other mobs, gamer now? Guys, we're gonna skip them. They're devil fit users, they're not hard to defeat, but there's a chance that they might burst you. Okay? Guys, notice that we are not using our elemental advantage. I for almost forgot stack check, melee 1825, defense 2100, max blast fruit. For our next area, guys, the final island, the Sea of Treats. We're gonna start defeating the Peanut Scouts. 
best place to lure is here. You can lure four in this area. There you go. Defeat them. You're gonna do this twice to finish a quest. So you're gonna stay here until you reach level 2125. As we're almost there. <laughs> Now at 2125, it is now time to move on to the next island and start defeating our target mob, the Ice Cream Chefs. This is how you lure them. One here, one here, one here, and there. Okay? Defeating them is no problem. Again, as we all know, I've been saying that all throughout the video, Magma Awaken is very strong. Okay? The goal here, guys. 2200 yes we'll skip some other quests so make sure to take note oh by the way you can defeat cake queen sorry or big mom one on one guys yes 1v1 you can do it not just the buddha fruit we're gonna fast forward this area i'm just gonna show it to you why because guys if you do server hop here you need to feed for like one minute and 30 seconds using the magma fruit which is not good okay so for the final island guys at 2200 we can start defeating the cookie crafters second to the last mob so just lure four here. Nice. It doesn't matter if they have hockey or what. We can burst them. There you go. You're gonna level up here until you reach level 2225. And after that, final set of mobs, the cake guards. Guys, notice that we did not, again, uh, fought the other mobs on the higher levels because the experience that they give is kinda near and they have some fruits. So just focus here. And to end this video, guys, I fought Katakuri. There you go. And again, I'm gonna fast forward this. Can you do it solo? Yes, but it's hard, guys. So make sure to bring some of your friends. And again, you need to defeat 500 mobs just to summon it. So bring your friends. Things will be a lot easier and more enjoyable. So I think, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this. Do you want me to make more videos? Want to max? Comment it in the comment section. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!